Did you have a chance to watch the Jubilee over the weekend? I wish I was busy with MTV. Well, let me just tell you this. It <laughs> continued with a star-studded concert celebrating Elizabeth 70 years on the throne. There were a lot of surprises, but they saved the best for last. And once again, our royal correspondent, Katie Nichol, she was right there in the mix. <laughs> Yesterday, we finally saw our Jubilee Queen in bright green on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. And there was some royal baby news too. Pippa Middleton, Duchess Kate's sister, is pregnant with her third child. She showed off her growing baby bump in green on Saturday. That's when we got another surprise from Her Majesty. I keep mine in here. Yep, that's the Queen in a video with Paddington Beer. E.T. has learned the sketch was shot in March, and according to a palace spokesman, Her Majesty is well known for her sense of humor, and the opportunity to invite a famous beer to tea was just too much fun to miss. Thank you for everything. That's very kind. Your Majesty, Mummy. Also having a bit of fun, Prince Charles and William honoring the monarch during the star-studded party at the palace. Queen with Adam Lambert kicked off the performances. Sir Rod Stewart got the royals singing Sweet Caroline. And Alicia Keys changed up the lyrics to Empire State of Mind, swapping New York for... Closing out the night, Diana Ross, performing her first UK live show in 15 years. Notably absent, of course, was William's brother Harry and his wife Meghan, who left early, jetting back to the US right after celebrating daughter Lilibet's first birthday. That's Harry arriving in Santa Barbara in the passenger seat with Meghan in the back. Gifts were offloaded from their private jet, including a swing set, which may match the one previously gifted to Will and Kate's kids. The Queen met Lilibet. Her parents just released this candid portrait from her birthday, which was celebrated at Frogmore with several family members. But why did Will, Kate, and their kids leave London on Lilibet's big day? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge tweeted their well wishes to Lilibet while taking their children, Charlotte and George, on a previously scheduled visit to Wales. A source tells ET the trip was simply a coincidence and there was no intended slight. During rehearsals for a concert at Cardiff Castle, Charlotte tried her hand at conducting the band as they played We Don't Talk About Bruno. The siblings also made cupcakes for the Cardiff community and little Louis stealing the show again with his many faces during Sunday's finale parade. <laughs> Proving the royals are just like the rest of us, Kate had to calm her son Louis down, who was taunting her with his tongue out and this classic schoolyard move. The Cambridges took to their official Twitter account and acknowledged all the fun, quote, we had an incredible time, especially Louis. Sunday's pageant cost an estimated 18 million. Around 18 million people also took part in street parties yesterday, including supermodels Naomi Campbell and Kate Moss, while Ed Sheeran closed out the event. You look perfect tonight. Yes, it was the Queen's Jubilee, but Louis was definitely the star of the show.